go to sleep. I'm go to bed. Sorry. What if it's investigation? It's the same thing. So I still rolled an 18. <coughs> 18, got it. <laughs> so it doesn't you matter. have the highest roll, of course. Notice a couple of interesting things. The first is that this individual has no cuts or like any sort of blade wounds. Hmm. But you also notice that a lot of his bones are broken. Hmm. Um, there is like most most of the breaks you notice are in his legs. Wow, oh, this rat talked. But but he has breaks elsewhere. I'm really proud of you right now. Um, <laughs> he is wearing robes. And he has a um, he has a dirty scuffed scroll tube. I'll take that. Slung Stack across it. his back. Carefully. Does he have anything uh, else on him? And when you search his body, you also find a little um, sort of journal that contains within it notes on uh, jump. On like, what? Like the jump spell. He's working on a jump spell. <coughs> and the scroll tube has within it a scroll. Give me an arcana check. Those of you... <laughs> yeah, no. Nice. I know what it is. I have some points, but I roll a nineteen. I have plus six. Yeah, ten. I roll an eighteen, and I have plus six. Yeah, yeah that's ten with a plus nice. two, so ten or twelve or eight uh, with a plus two. Sorry. Twenty-six. The two magic users. Five. What a shot! Yes. Five. Okay. Yeah, you still know exemplary. I use magic. This is yeah, but I use more magic. Experimental spell. Mm-hmm. Not a normal jump. Not a normal jump spell. Do I realize it's well, uh, related jump. to jump though? He, Go he, ahead he has and called jump. it um, the Mario jump. Like super jump or super something jump. like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have that game genie for that, bro. Uh, super jump. Nope. Moon or jump. left trigger jump. Moon jump. And L button jump. Oh, moon jump. The game genie. Yeah. This Old school. will allow you to like jump normally is three times your jumping distance. Mm-hmm. Uh, both horizontally and vertically. This lets you triple jump. And you go, wahoo! The super jump spell is times ten. Sounds painful. Which explains the broken legs. Yeah. Yeah. So what it does not do, as you can tell, is help the landing. The, the spell. Okay, you said it. it so is. it's a Marwin. Like, no. Marwin. It's a direct reference to Marwin. That's. I didn't want to say anything in case you weren't going to immediately yeah. reveal it didn't help with the fall. Rand. But. Yeah. Rand. But. You still have the ring I gave you. I do have a feather fall ring. Dip it shit. goes with that spell. That's in character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then. Have you I not, should take that. Have you not put it on? Nope. I think he Actually, has attuned yeah. himself to it. Oh. Yeah. I. Cause, yeah, I took off my hat and my. Uh, Excellent. Yeah, uh, I'm good. <laughs> You're welcome. That's what maxed me out was that ring. Yeah. That's why I had to take off my hat. Um, three weeks in... <sighs> That'll be something. And this is like... You, you know, again, you have encountered some minor things. Like combat-oriented things. There's a At knoll least- or a... Goblin, yeah, or like, yeah. or at least seven of them. Stuff that you know, is miners, it, it, that is irrelevant tiny, enough yeah. that it's kind of like in Earthbound when you get too powerful for something, you they're just, just like, defeat nope. it. <laughs> and then I like, get the XP, which is not much, which is like nothing, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, you get to be about three or four days out from Egelf. And you're in this little town on the on the edges of the waste called 
Shuth. S H Shuth. S H U T H. In the distance, to, toward the south, from this city or town, rather, um, you actually see a couple of weird-looking, like land landscaping, like landmarks. Uh, these are actually called the Claws of the Gods. And there, there are these... And that's near... Shoot? Shoot, yeah. There are these enormous gashes that look like a claw. Like on the map, it looks like a claw has dug in just these massive that. trenches into the, into the earth. That's in Vanessa. Do you know what this is? That those are? No. I said my water bottle down too far. I thought my hand was close to the table, to be perfectly honest with you. <laughs> Continue our travels. Shoot, is a very interesting place. Oh, look at the ditch. Um, <laughs> it's sort of... It's, really it's, it it's in the outskirts of the groups that... Um, are kind of under the influence of the pit fiends. A lot of them wear uh, like tribal gear. Hmm. And it's not just a specific race that does this. Just a lot of people anyone, around in anyone, boiled anyone, leather. Yeah. Um, anyone who's right. a badass can be part like, of it and be pro. Boiled leathers. Uh, you have like hide, hide armors not me. of different creatures. I'm, I'm squishy and magic me. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, a lot all of them are lightly armored and wet. And I guess weapons, Mark uh, tattooed, tattooed, which is really nice. Uh, like it's all very intricate. Um, you actually can see that some of them have tattoos that glow a little bit. Hey, it's raining. Yep. Huh? That seat's gonna be wet. So I got a towel in there. Good. There's something going on. Trash bag the window. Nah. Too late now. Yeah. Now, it's not, it's not a bad, it's not too bad. Do we want to Yeah. They are interested because you His window is all right. Look, look like that. Okay. They're interested in what you're doing. Seriously. And in fact, one of them, a fairly large uh, dragon boy. Huh. Who doesn't, who um, has, like, a, it's. His decoration is because he's scaly. Is just this is gonna go well. Yeah. Rand notices the scale or, or draw on. Yep, mm. drawn on. You can step off, Rand. You. Don't you take twice as long? Greetings, this half as big. new people. Yes. What brings you into the territory of the Pixies? We are traveling to. Write down the place we're going to. So I don't know where we're going. To. The Death Hill. Hill yeah. Well, yeah, we're going to Death Hill. Hill right? Huh? We're heading toward Hill Gulf, right? So that's that's true. I mean, you're Hill going through. We're going to Hill Gulf there. The, 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 the surface city that's nearest the Death Hill entrance place. You are far too free with information. The Underdog. Yes, we're going right to the heart and belly of the beast thing. Impressive. Part of the belly of the beast thing. Yep. We have got the next Ooh. Edgar Allan Poe. Okay. Who's Edgar Allan Poe in? You're going to eat Elf. Yes. Uh, Edgar. Yeah, who's, who's that right? He kind of like, like motions and this, other uh, this, this troop of uh, similarly. Sorry, I don't speak sign language. Sizable individuals. I speak these can't though. Kind of moved up. There's there's another dragon well. horn. There's a, God, that pisses him off. Uh, half orc. You see a, a very, very big human, like bigger than normal. Anyway. Beefy. Uh, like, like wolf car kind of size. Yep. Um, Mountain of a man. Yeah. There's also a couple of um, spear wielding women. We will escort you to a guild. To 
we need an escort? Yes. Okay. I'm not going to argue with them. And there you will prove yourself. Mm -hmm. Well, fun. In the pit. All of us, like Rangers, Pikes, and back. wait. All of us, prove ourselves. Mm. Yes. I'm not actually with them. They just looked like they were Ren, good up. to get in. Ran. Shut up. Like, he literally has no clue what to say. He's, mm. He's stammering and yeah. trying to talk his way out of it. And yeah, he's just like failing. Yeah, I don't. I mean. The guy, like. Uh, let, me, let me get this real quick. Just give me one second. One. That is the most annoying thing a person could do, and I just did it. I apologize for that. What? That's okay. When someone says, give me one second, and you're just like, one. I do it all the time, man. Well, yeah, well, that's because you're, you're, you're an, asshole. an asshole. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the this fuck? Is, by the way, Pot, meat, this, kettle. this big, <laughs> this big uh, dragonborn dude uh, introduces himself. He's a he's of the red scale type. The red variety. He's scale. I am red mock. Red mock. Red mock Savaxis. No. I, I, I seriously have to leave now. Okay. I gotta go to bed. Cool. I'll sleep sitting here. How much time do we have left? Eight minutes. Uh, I got okay. it. Awesome. Thank you. You make your way to the waste, because you're kind of on the outskirts and you can see in the distance. Um, if you want me to play a way like Yeah, because I have no clue how to fight this. How did you switch her? Yeah, I got you. I got you, Brad. Not that one, anyway. Sorry. <laughs> not a problem, man. Not a problem. It's okay. We still hate you, though. Know, my spells are not... I don't know how to use spells that aren't. You get... You cast Light and Magic Missile and you'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Wastes are a uh, desert tundra kind of thing. Uh, a desert tundra? Oh. It's, it's very... Uh, it's very hot, but it's not sand in the sense of like loose sand. It's like that. Uh, I hate sand. It's coarse and gets everywhere. <laughs> Shut up. In your butt. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed uh, that. <laughs> nice, nice reference. Why do you think Luke was left on Tatooine? <laughs> it's full of sand. <laughs> Anyway, it's it's like cracked earth, like dried out, cracked ground. There is some sand and dust and whatnot, but it's mostly just uh, cracked and dry. Um, and you and you kind of make your way. There's not a lot of anything in here. Strangely enough, through the pass, through through the waste rather, there's a strip of about uh, maybe 200, 250 feet on either direction of this river that's actually pretty okay. Like there's some grass growing. Uh, you see a little bit of wildlife, but not a whole lot of stuff around here. And then you get to the Gelf. And the Gelf is a massive complex. It's just, it, it just looks like a single building. You're escorted in through the. be the east gate. East gate? East gate, yeah. And 
This place is made from the sandstone that surrounds it, of course, or like at least very similar in its color. Hmm. Um, hmm. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Pizza's here. Sweet. It's a pretty um, decent timing. Kind of hungry, yeah. We got like four minutes left. Nice. You all lucky I made money today. There. Thank you, sir. There seems to be a Thanks, central man. hallway. Remind me of whatever he said when I come back in. I'll, I'll wait. Oh, no, go Jesus. ahead, man. Okay. No. Just oh. on February 9th, 29 years ago, Mario 3 was released. Cool. Huh? On February 9th, 29 years ago, Mario 3 was released. My favorite game ever. He's oh, almost yeah. 30 years old. I was in 87. Nope, idiot. Oh, that's right. Because it was released like five months before I was born. Got it. That's cool. <sighs> Makes you feel old. Yeah, yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah, it does. <laughs> anyway. It seems like internal caves. So, like, there's a centralized hallway. Um, actually, uh. And it does kind of branch out a cave. I'm not sure. Right? You see all these doors, and there's, they're all very kind of, um, well, for lack of a better term, Spartan living conditions. Right. Uh, like there's a bed and a little kind of table made of as well. Uh, and this, that's pretty much it. There are a few minor personal touches to the rooms. Like you'll see like a, uh, a, a skin rug down in, in one of the rooms. Or uh, maybe there's a skull or something. I'm trying to listen to you. But this is really entertaining. Alright. And it kind of as you're walking down the area, you're going to notice that it is oval or elliptical in its arrangement. And it's massive. Hey, no problem. Sorry, roll triple ones on it. <laughs> <laughs> did you just get a free pizza? I did. It. I didn't want to take someone else's pizza they paid for. Uh, just leave the, the door open. Yeah, the door. Open. But free. We got pizza. And even though I just said I didn't want to take free pizza, I took a free two liter. So. <laughs> <laughs> didn't want pizza in the kitchen. What kind of pizza Sweet. is it? It is pepperoni and bacon. That's good enough. My two favorite things on pizza. <clears throat> anyway. So, Spartan Living Quarters. We're going to find this arena thing. Prove Lipical ourselves. Elliptical yes. area. Lovely. That's what every archer loves to deal with. Wait, so... Did you or did you not get a free pizza? I turned down the free pizza okay. by being a good man. So you got your actual pizza? or? Yeah, I got my actual pizza. Okay. This is going to make me sound really cheap for anybody who does watch this. You know he's just going to take the pizza back. They're already going to have to have remade the other pizza. Well, no, this, back well he, he said the other pizza is his next stop. He was just going to give it to us. It had mushrooms on it. Fuck mushrooms. Nobody likes fucking mushrooms. I like mushrooms. I like mushrooms, too. I that's don't. okay. Whatever. It's but that's cool. Important. It's fine. Are I was just curious as to what happened. <coughs> How much time do we have left? Uh, it's probably about time's up anyway. Okay. Uh, so, uh, we'll end episode. this on yeah, you guys being introduced. Uh, you're brought into a, a much larger room. And I need some pizza. Um, and before you as the leader of the Pit Fiends is actually Minotaur. Cool. Oh, uh, a very large. Minotaur. And with that, we'll be right back. Oh well. Later. Oh no, not a minotaur. Oh, that's a pizza. <laughs> oh, wow.